Chief Justice of India has made some uh, scathing observations while hearing uh, the case. Remember, the resumption of the hearing uh, has uh, begun yesterday. Also, uh, was when the government's lawyer, Tushar Mehta, actually told the court that the reason we needed to take that late night, uh, 2 a.m. in the night, uh, sudden action of sending the CBI chief on forced leave was because the two top officers were fighting like cats. Now, what the Chief Justice of India has said that if you were facing all of this since July, why did you need to take that kind of action late in the night and why couldn't it wait a little longer? Nita, back with us. Nita, we're still hearing details. Uh, it's difficult to track all that's happening in the court. Uh, but uh, as I see, uh, where they are sharing the details uh, with us, and uh, he says the CVC has to act on the situation, uh, not envisaging in the CVC Act. Could you put some uh, sense uh, or, or, and, and make some sense of all of that? Uh, Amito, it is very clear that, you know, the government has taken a stand that it was justified in removing the CBI director, Mr. Alok Varma. And now the arguments, uh, both by the CVC and the Attorney General, are hovering around it. Yesterday, the Attorney General made it clear that the selection panel recommends the names and it is up to the government to decide whether that person can be uh, put in place of CBI director or no. It is a prerogative of the government. Today, Tushar Mehta, who is the additional solicitor general, is also harping on the same point that CVC has to act on the situ situation, not in Tisad, uh, in the CVC Act. Because it was a peculiar situation. Yesterday, the Attorney General had in fact remarked, you know, that both the officers were fighting like cats. The, this peculiar situation had arisen in CBI since last one year. So the, the government was trying to give both the op officers a little rope way that they would bend their ways, but they did not. In fact, the warring factions came to such an extent that, you know, the officers, the, there were two camps in CBI. If one camp was doing in, uh, one thing, the other camp was negating it. In fact, even the, the, the press uh, information bureau department was being used by the director to give uh, denials on his behalf. So uh, the warring factions had reached to such an extent that there was no other option uh, again, uh, uh, for the government to take such a severe action. Mr. Arun Jaitley, when he had addressed the press conference, he, he had also categorically said that uh, because there are allegations and counter-allegations on both the officer, both director and the special director, that is why the government has decided to send both the officers on leave and now the CVC is investigating the matter. The CVC is also has given a report to the Supreme Court on which Mr. Alok Verma has already replied. Now the arguments which we are hearing from the government side, from the CVC side, are being heard by the Supreme Court. And, you know, the, the hearing will go on today also. Uh, and it's not the last that we've heard because this thing will continue for at least two to three days more because arguments and counter-arguments have to be heard from both the sides.